Hello and welcome to my channel. Today uh, it's 1st of September, so uh, I don't know that I will be posting this on 1st of September, but I do want to make a uh, fall makeup look and I'm going to achieve that with some new products that I have and haven't had the chance yet to uh, film it. So first it is this uh, eyeshadow from Dior. So this is the new uh, Nude Essential. Uh, basically, instead of uh, their primer, uh, they now have a pearly white um, eyeshadow in here, which is actually this one. Uh, in their previously uh, like uh, palettes, they have here one uh, eyeshadow prim primer that you can use with all the colors. I did use this, uh, I did swatches and I realized uh, a latte makeup uh, look with it and actually it is gorgeous. The colors in here are really nice, they blend, the pigment is there. So uh, we'll be using this today. Also, I will be trying this. This is the new L'Oreal True Match Nude Plumping tinted serum with 1% uh, pure uh, hyaluronic acid. Uh, I did choose uh, the shade medium, which I don't know if it's good or not for me. And I cannot uh, observe that this has like a pearl, uh, I don't know, something in it. And I'm very curious how this will actually sit on my face. And of course, also from L'Oreal, I did buy this like one week ago. Um, I have this uh, new uh, liquid lipsticks from L'Oreal. I did try this. I do love the formula. And uh, I do want to get one more shade, which is more like an orangey red. I did prep my face with this because I do want to keep using it uh, under different uh, skin tint or foundation just to see how this behave for me as an oily uh, person and I did pry my eyes also with this from Pat McGrath uh, her new primer uh, which I actually like and because my Too Faced uh, it's almost gone then um, I was thinking yeah to use only this I usually do this for primers I don't buy more uh, when I like something, I just stick to that one. So first I will take this shade from here and I will be applying that all over the lid. Uh, one thing is that uh, I wish there was a mirror in there. So uh, yeah, it would be a lot easier for me uh, and for all of us, I think, to achieve the makeup. But I do love this uh, palette from Dior. Uh, these are my favorite. I have like all of them, the previous one, and I do love the formula. And now um, I will be taking this shade from here uh, in the corner and we'll trying to do some um, hollow um, eyeshadow situation. Let's see if I can achieve it. But um, I did use this palette in uh, the last weekend and I did enjoy really, really, I, I don't know, it was really nice how the makeup turned up. I used only like two or three shades for like the latte makeup and I did enjoy that one. And now I actually want to take this color from here uh, with the same brush. And I'm just going to like darken a little bit uh, if it gets darkened or at least to have some kind of different colors. And now with what it is left, I will uh, swipe it under. Now I will be using this uh, Intensify Artistry wand from Pat McGrath. Uh, here in the middle because I will be applying that burgundy shade that uh, the only one that it is in this palette and I actually do 
Now see a difference when I use this, the colors are a little bit more amplified in a way, uh, so I do like it. So now let's take this color with my finger, it looks like this, and let's apply it here. And now I think I will be taking a little bit of this darkened uh, brown shade with a new brush and actually I will be just a little bit uh, add some dimension in here just to darken very very light weighted in a way and now I will be taking this shimmery from here and apply it to my inner corner and I did apply this uh, until here, so I do like how my makeup looks. And let's apply this. Uh, on the back it says, uh, shake it well before use. So yeah, also it does uh, that sound, like watery sound, that also the Bobbi Brown uh, skin tint had it. Let's... Uh, open this and i hope it won't get messy so here is the product okay it is liquid i think it is more liquid than the bobby brown one i do think that uh, the shade it is a little bit uh darker than my skin but okay yes i think i needed a different one but we'll work with this so this is half of it. It does have this uh, beautiful, I don't know, it feels different than the Bobbi Brown. It's more watery. So it is more watery and it does uh, actually sink into my skin really beautifully. I do like how my skin looks. And after it is uh, blended into my skin, I think it might actually be the good uh, shade, the right shade for me. So we have half and half. It gives this beautiful uh, luminosity to the skin. Uh, again, uh, I will not powder this. Uh, because I do want to see how uh, it wears during the day. It does not feel as sticky as the Bobbi Brown when I first um, apply it. And I did use the same face base. So we'll see if this is actually like better. I will take another pump uh, for uh, the half, the other half of my face. And let's see how this actually covers what i have in here this is my good face this is my like not that good uh, part of my face but i do like it how uh, it looks on the skin this i think covered a little bit better uh, my blemishes and this and let's boil them a little bit more if we can do that but the finish of this it is uh, i'm sure that most of you uh, already tried this uh, because yeah here like all the uh, new makeup uh, it comes a little bit late like one month or maybe two months after uh, the us or even the <laughs> entire europe uh, gets it um, but uh, yeah so it is buildable and I do like very, very much how this looks. I think this might be my new favorite of the, I mean, regarding skin tints. It does look beautiful. So it's been like two minutes since I applied this to my face. It feels different than the Bobbi Brown one. That one uh, felt uh, more sticky, 
this is kind of like it's already dried up not in the bad way anyway i don't feel like i have a matte finish uh but it is a combo between like uh almost dried out on the face uh so i do think that this one might be better for my skin today like not today but might be better for my oily skin uh to use it uh even when i touch it now it does not feel uh, as sticky as the bobby brown i do like the formula and it's actually melted into my skin and gives me this like uh, i don't know my skin but better look uh, natural glow in a way and i do love very very much the, the finish of this i will be reviewing this in the same way i did with the bobby brown uh, i will apply only blush to my face and that's all i will not set it with any powder or any setting spray or nothing until now how it feels i do like it so much uh, so for blush i will be using this this is for mac i told you about this it's one of my favorite formula from <clears throat> cream blushes and from mac it has this uh, bounce texture that uh, you can play with and this is one uh, very like in the color so natural it does give this natural uh, look to the face and i will be using the brush from rare beauty uh, this is one of my favorite uh, in terms uh, i mean when i need to apply uh, cream blushes and as you can see it just gives you the this beautiful uh, glow and you can boil this up and this brush uh, it makes so easy for any uh, cream liquid I don't know blush to actually apply to the face it has the bright angle see this color how beautiful it is and I did boil it up uh, I think for my skin now it do need to apply but in the winter time I don't need to like build it up so uh, so much so for my brows uh, as usual I use this gimme brown just to give them a little bit of uh, I don't know stay in place let's say and for mascara the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara I think I told you it's one of my favorite try the new uh, L'Oreal I mean, uh, they just launched here, so I will be trying them. The first shade that I have is 115 uh, Snooze Your Alarm. And this is more uh, like a nude. It is very easy to apply this. Uh, I do enjoy the formula. It is uh, creamy, I don't know when uh, you first apply and then you let them dry. So this is 115. I think it goes really well with this uh, look today. It is like in the same vibe. So 115. Next shade, it is 245 in French Kiss. And let's see how this looks. So it is like a bright fuchsia which i actually love i don't have many colors like this in my collection so this is uh, 245 and the last shade that i have it in here it's 420 le rouge paris so this i think it will be more like a true red This is 420, it's Le Rouge Paris, so uh, yeah, it is a uh, full pigment, one swipe, uh, after this dry, this will not move from your lips, even to remove this you need an oily remover or just a biphasic cleanser, uh, it will not go uh, with normal micellar water, so uh, keep in mind that one. Uh, now I do love this uh, as I told you uh, it is one of uh, my favorite uh, 
palettes from Dior. I do prefer this instead of the one with five pan. Uh, and I think for like the price that you pay, you have the quality here, you have uh, diversity, the mattes in here blend the I don't know, the shimmers also look really, really nice. And I do love these uh, palettes from uh, Dior. Uh, this, uh, I do love it so much so far. I will see how this wears during the day. I have only blush and uh, just uh, this. And under I put the Bobbi Brown uh, Vitamin uh, uh, C, I think. Uh, vitamin A rich face base, uh, so I pair these two. Uh, it feels different than the Bobbi Brown skin tint. Uh, this feels more drier in a way, so I think it will perform better on my oily skin, but I will record it and uh, add it to the end of this video. And this, I do love the formula. Uh, the pigment, it is in here. They are non-sticky. Once they are dry, they will not move from your lips. I did wear uh, this shade and uh, of course uh, as I tested also the Dior one if you eat anything that's oily and you actually don't like eat normal without uh, uh, preventing to touch your lips and you'll touch the oil it will fade in a way so uh, it's not oily food approved at least uh, how I tested these lipsticks and seen uh, so uh, in other uh, other airs uh, drinking eating other kind of foods yes but with uh, anything that has oil in it and you touch your lipstick it will start uh, losing that uh, long lasting formula let's say but i do love this and i do love that it's non-sticky and i think they have like a various shade you can find like news reds or i don't know uh, I think there is one color for uh, everyone, so I do enjoy this one. Uh, so uh, yeah, I will be keeping uh, you updating uh, during the day how this uh, performs on my skin, but so far I do love it so so much. And uh, yeah, see you in a bit. <laughs> so it's been three hours since I applied this skin tint. And what I want to say, it does look and feel uh, a lot better than the Bobbi Brown skin tint. Um, of course, I will get oily uh, to here, but in regards on how it actually looks on my skin and how it uh, it's behaving here, uh, I do like it more. Uh, we will see how it will last until tonight. I do have, it's like 20 degrees, but it feels a lot warmer here. Uh, so I will see how this uh, will look after. But for now, I am just love this. My skin looks amazing. I don't know how to explain. So see you in 2-3 hours maybe. Uh, 2 hours later, it's been around 5-6 hours now. Um, I do enjoy really, really much how my skin looks. Of course, uh, the oiliness, it's because I'm oily skin. I went outside, I had some uh, stuff to do. And uh, if I will not set uh, my face, it will look like this. It will happen with uh, anything like uh, skin tint or foundation. It doesn't matter. But I do like how this wears, and it does not fit. Uh, it does not um, feels as sticky as the Bobbi Brown one. So I do like this more. I think uh, I will be doing another checkup uh, in the night. So we'll see how this will uh, preserve until then. So this is my final check after nine hours of wearing and you cannot tell that i have anything on my face if you get very close to me yes you can notice like you have something put on but otherwise it just uh, look exactly like skin and it wears a lot better than the bobby brown uh, skin tint so i do love this more than that one even than hourglass 
uh, especially because wo today was really warm here so it wear really really well so this was my video thanks for watching and uh, see you next time bye bye